are you still uh, recording as much? Or yeah, yeah. You, you record in the house or you, you no, go I to the studio? studio? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Gorgeous day, man. I got shit coming. You still feel like coming. motivated, like when you were younger, to keep recording, or, or what's your mentality? It, like with it that? never really. Even when I was in jail, it never. I never got unmotivated or nothing. I was just. I had the moment. I had a time like you know. I, I'm fighting this case. I gotta clear my mind. Right. Let, you know what I mean. Get my mind right. Definitely. But after when I'm like, all right, piece of cake. Start doing my shit. Writing. Starting everything. You know what I mean. It wasn't. I didn't stress the fuck out. You know what I mean. Fuck that. It was. I did my time. Yeah, definitely. Do you? Uh, I I noticed some up and coming uh, Hispanic rappers kind of trying to use your your name for clout, throwing you in the conversation. Hey, and when shit. you're the one, you're the one. Motherfuckers are gonna do that. I don't give a fuck. You know right. what I mean? Get your money how you can, motherfucker. It is what it is. You know? Okay, okay. But I'm naming names. What do you think of this kid, YTM Lil Vent, who's got uh, so much to say about you? That, there's levels to this shit. I went to jail for an attempted murder, alleged attempted murder. That motherfucker goes to jail for fucking. Messing around with minors, you know what I mean? Like, so different, motherfucker. Stay in your lane, homie, you know? Is that what he got accused of or something? I didn't know <laughs> oh, that. Man, you know what I mean? Okay. Who's that? No, 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 you know? But but he took it real personal that you don't personally use the N-word. In reality, I wasn't even, that fool's a nobody, you know? Like, So it was, you weren't even in that conversation, my boy, you know? Like, right. You weren't on that list that we were talking about, so you just wanted that little clout. Now you go mention a motherfucker's name, but motherfuckers know what it is, you know? How strongly do you feel about that? Like, do a lot of your friends use the N-word? You just personally don't do it, or do you nah. just not condone nah, Mexican people I mean, doing it in have, general? I do have homies that say it, but like, as in, like, when they ask me for my opinion, that's my opinion, you know? Mm. I'm going to give you my fucking opinion. Now, whether you like it or not, I can give a fuck, you know what I mean? It's, that's my opinion. Have you always been like that? You never said it when you were younger and shit? Nah, or? I, was, I was signed to YG. Mm. I never use it, you know? I don't use that word, like... He you know wouldn't I mean? condone that? Yeah, like, I don't... So why am I going to let... You know what I mean? Like it's, that's mm. off, you know what I mean? No, I respect it. I mean, shit, there's a lot of people watching this right now who probably really appreciate that because I see a lot of black people <laughs> kind of nowadays not, like, really being against Hispanic people using it, whereas I felt like, you know, years ago, it was like nobody really was having that conversation yeah. so much. Yeah, it's... Shit changes now. It's 2020, you know what I mean? Mm. It's, it's all fucked off. This year's all fucked off. For sure. Do you, uh, let me ask you about a few other rappers. Uh, have you seen Peso Peso? What do you think of him? Nah, I never, I mean, I only heard it from the clout chaser, you know, right. doing his little clout chasing. It was like, he didn't know what branch to leech off of. But I mean, boy, all right, give respect, respect that man more than a motherfucker, you know what I mean? Because, homie, you get your money right. You don't get it off being a, where I come from, homie, that's cha-cha shit, you know? You mm. leave that shit for the females, my boy. You don't do that shit. I think part of his problem with Peso Peso, who Peso Peso, we've just, had him on. Cool, he just hates. Cool he, dude, but he's from Texas. He called himself the hardest essay ever. He's not an essay. You, you don't <laughs> you think ain't so? an essay. What no. do you have to do to be an essay? I mean, essay falls under a certain category, my boy. That fool ain't no essay, you know? Okay. So you have to be with That's a facts. You certain ain't, level of yeah, activities. Yeah, not even that. It's just that falls under a certain category and you're not an essay, you know? Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, Okay, what do you think of Shoreline Mafia? They're like, some are they of the, doing their thing? Yeah, yeah I've, I've been hearing this shit. Hey, yeah, yeah, they're some of my favorite shit out of LA. They just broke yeah, up, yeah. so it's kind of yeah. unfortunate. Keep doing but that. Hey, yeah, they gassing that shit. That's they've right. They're killing it. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you think of? Uh, were you observing the six nine situation from jail? Mm, man, that shit. Eh. N- fools are looking at that and thinking that's cool that's where fools like this other motherfucker try to do you know it's like fool mm. i see your little movie that's that shit don't work with me i'm a real one miss me with that bullshit you know? right <laughs> yeah what, what's the sad boy loco statement on snitching at this moment in time in the year 2020 don't do it <laughs> you're still gonna get broken off and you're not gonna be able to go back to your fucking hood we, we, don't do it right you're still gonna do your time that you're just helping them do their fucking case that Beat, like seal off their case that's all you're doing you think that that's a problem nowadays that snitching is cool that people Fuck, don't it's look always down been on a problem. the same way yeah it's always been a problem just now it's coming to light like oh there's snitches you know what i mean <laughs> right. but it's always been a problem every hood has them every fo- they're, they're everywhere you know what i mean right so you have people that you see around town that you know they snitch and you got to just kind of <laughs> my boy you got to just that turn your head and be like, it's mm-hmm. like <laughs> like <laughs> dog like Motherfucker, you know what I mean? But yeah. it's not in my conscience, you know what I mean? You seen this fool dog face? 
Hey, that fool made 2020 <laughs> folky. He's the one that highlighted this motherfucker. That's right. He is. He's hey. like quickly becoming like one of the most well-known people yeah. of kind of representing like a certain. If, if somebody hates on that motherfucker, mm. you're a fucking hater. That you, you have no reason to hate on that fool. You know. It's pretty funny because when vibes you, on that when you actually like hear him talking stuff, you realize he's just a super chill stoner dude and stuff. But I think the reason why people thought it was so funny is because you're looking at him like he's this cholo dude who just so happens to be dancing all having so much hey. fun. You, you just didn't expect it when you see that, you know? Yeah. That's, that's good, though. Like, don't you? It kind of like helps with the representation. Like, now at least, like, people have like another version of like this type of dude to look at and be like, oh, he's a nice guy. Yeah. Because not everybody's a, a different perspective you know. of someone wearing long socks. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Head. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. I, I like that you fuck with it, though, because I wasn't sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's tight. He brightened up 2020. He put smiles on motherfuckers. You know? <laughs> Real shit. Yeah, hey, that's fire. Yeah. He's like a fucking uh, a, a folk hero around there he now, He got everybody drinking cranberry juice now and shit. Yeah, that's real. I could never imagine drinking that much cranberry juice while Everybody's also having some water. clean tests and shit for Bud. I'm just fucking <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, do you uh, you follow Foods Gone Wild? Yeah. Hey, yeah, they they actually help out the fucking rasa a lot. You know? Yeah? I trip out. Even when I when I got out, they were already big, and I was like, God damn. Like, but yeah. the way they put out the culture, like like their bio says, fuck lames and snitches, and they really go by that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they, like they put out shit, content that's like funny, but it's like legit, like, oh shit, like, all right, that's tight. I think it's dope too that it's just like, from following that page, I feel like it gives me a little bit more of like an understanding of that subculture and shit yeah. in a way that is like- He puts it out there. Like, yeah, it's very valuable to be able to like sort of observe all these things that are like, like I'll be watching memes on there that I like very much do not understand, but at least I'm like, I'm working on it. I'm trying to figure out what the <laughs> fuck the joke is here or whatever, yeah. Yeah, that's tight. Now he did, that. he shot that. Hell yeah. So what are your, uh, what, what's the relationship with, like with YG these days? How much do you talk nah, to we, him? We cool. We still chop it up and everything, you know what I mean? Hell still yeah. doing his thing. I'm doing mine, you know? That's what's up. Um, yeah, so you're still motivated. You have like projects coming or anything I got a in few. particular? I got a Spanish one, all something for the females, and some G shit. You know really? I mean? Now I'm not giving you motherfuckers a date. So I'm just going to surprise you guys like I do with these videos. Wow, okay. <laughs> so do you have to get into a different mind state to do the kind of like girl-friendly songs that I've seen from you here and there? Nah, hell nah. I love female soys. You, you know, just hear the I'm beat? I'm fully with the Tuli soul. I already know, like, you know what I mean? So I know what to rap about. <laughs> you're not in a relationship? <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. Nah. Nah, you can't do it. I can't. I'm focused on other things, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You got any kids? Yeah, I got kids. How many? I got three. Oh, wow. I started off at a young age. I was shitting them up. My kid might be popping out in a minute now. <sighs> Congrats, crazy. Pimpin'. Appreciate it. <laughs> Life's going to change for you. <laughs> Is it? Is it crazy? Yeah, yeah. You got any advice for me? Long nights, you're gonna have some long nights. <laughs> Especially when it's like birth, you're gonna have some long nights. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid that. Because she's gonna be tired and you gotta do everything. Yeah. She's off from that rest, from that whole, whole labor thing, you know? Man, if she hits me right now, being like, hey, oh, you you're, gotta leave. You look at your phone like, yeah, hey. every <laughs> notification, I'm like, uh oh. Fuck Here it. we go. All right. You gotta go. Hey, Savoy, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Facts. Um, all right, you got any last words? Anything that you want to share with the people before we uh, cap this man. off? Appreciate you coming in and nah, telling your yeah. story, man. Appreciate you having me by. Still que viva la raza. Motherfucking sad boy back at it, you know what I mean? Tune into that, let me ride. Motherfucking nasty. Attempted murder. All that shit. I'm going to drop off some new shit, you know what I mean? I'm back. Hell yeah. Back for good, you know what I mean? Fire. Appreciate yeah. it. Sad Boy Loco, yeah, No baby. Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. No Check us on YouTube, up, SoundCloud, iTunes. Like, comment, and subscribe. NoJumper.com if you want to support. Appreciate y'all. Yeah.